Hi everyone, Sindra here. Welcome back to Fire Emblem The Sacred Stones. So, I did quite a bit of grinding off screen at the tower to make sure we were ready for not only chapter 16, but more importantly what happens after chapter 16 is done. So, I guess now it's time for a montage of levels. What's your name? Me? I'm Amelia. Ah, Amelia. My name's Ewan. Hi. Hi, Ewan. It's nice to meet you. So, are you fighting with us? Yep, I am. I'm a mage. Really? 
you look like you're only about my age. That's neat. Haha. <laughs> uh, I'm nothing special compared to my teacher. You wanna see some magic? Here? Now? But isn't that dangerous? Oh, don't worry. Magic isn't just for combat. For example. Voila! I can do stuff like this. Wow! They're so pretty. All those little lights spinning around together. Is this really magic? This? This is magic used to make girls happy. Huh? Ah. Oh, Ewan! Stop teasing! <laughs> <laughs> you should show me how good you are with the lance sometime. Huh? Um... Alright, but... I'm sure you'd be bored. That's not true. And even if it were, it's simply a matter of how you make it fun. How you make it fun? Uh-huh. Like this war, for example. Well, Amelia, I'll see you later. Hey! Hmm. Ewan sure moves at his own pace. How you make it fun? Hmm. That seems like a good rule to live by when you think about it. This looks like a good place to take a break. you do that? I thought you were one of the enemy! <laughs> we talked about this, remember? How you make it fun? <laughs> I just wanted to make our meeting here a little more fun. <laughs> well, it wasn't fun for me at all. Yeah. Amelia? Do you remember you promised to show me your lance work? Um, yeah. I remember. Well, alright. Here, watch closely. Oh, I will. <sighs> ha! 
Yeah! Oh, that's good. Ah! Wah! Huh, neat. Great! Whew. Thanks. You're good, Amelia. You're as good as any of the other knights. Do you mean that? Whew. To be honest, I've been practicing even harder lately. But... It was all worth it to hear you say that. Thanks. Really? No, thank you. I like your outfit, too. Huh? Oh, I get it. You're teasing me again, aren't you, Ewan? What was it again? Making things fun? <laughs> no, that's not at all what I was doing. Hmm. I'm not sure I should believe you. <laughs> Princess Erica has a similar outfit. Is that a popular style? I don't know, but it's easy to move in, so... Ah, huh, I see. I think it's cute, especially that stain right there. Oh, Ewan, you're such a twit! Traveled much? Travel? Hmm. Let's see. I went from Silva to the capital on my own once. Now that I think about it, I never left Grotto until now. Oh, really? My teacher. He's the great sage Soleil from Carapolin. Took me out on a training journey for many months once. Where'd you go? Lots of different places across Magvel. We went to Rainus, Brilia, Rostin, and Jehenna. Oh, we went to Grotto too. Wow, that sounds great! Yeah, it was a lot of fun. There were so many new things to see. Say, Amelia, I just had an idea. What is it? When this war is over, and we're all at peace, why don't you and I take a trip together? Huh? Just the two of us? 
Sure, why not? Does the idea bother you? No, it's just... There's so much I want to show you, Amelia. How the dark green forests refract the morning sun into a million burning emeralds. The melancholy spectacle of the sun sinking slowly beyond an endless horizon. The wind gently coercing vast fields of wheat to dance. Heroic mountain peaks. Oh, and the gorgeous flower beds that fill your vision with brilliant colors. There are so very many spectacular places in the world. I want to see all of them again. But this time, I want to see them with you. When you see them, you'll really understand how wonderful it is to be alive. The feeling will fill your heart and make you want to sing with joy. That's so eloquent, Ewan. Um, but I understand what you're trying to say. And yes, let's go. I want to see all of it and more. Great! Then it's settled. You know what? This gives us something to look forward to while this war goes on. <laughs> Just thinking about it makes my heart beat faster. <laughs> you know, you went. Being around you fills me with so much energy. And I'm happy when you're around too. I'm looking forward to our trip. It's one more reason for us to work quickly to put an end to this war. Yeah, let's do what we can because we're definitely taking that trip. So, let's go over what we got. Natasha's still level 14. I'm just going to kind of have her gain levels as we go. Ephraim's level 20. Larishel's 20. Kyle was taking hits. <laughs> so, Larishel could level. <laughs> uh, Ross is level 20. Amelia's 20. Erin's 20. Cormac's 20. Naomi's 20. And I got Erica to level 20 as well, even though she won't be seeing much action other than when she is forced. And Arthur already class changed. And so did Joshua. And so did Franz. Stats were good. You got to see them. Some were better than others. Some were really good. Some were okay. Some were not good at all. But what we're going to do now, before we enter chapter 16 is 
we have class changes to go over. Which is always fun, so I'm really excited about this. Uh, who is carrying staffs? We were running out of space, so I just ended up giving items to people that I'm not using. <laughs> And I had some. There we go. I had Mulder carry carry heal staffs. There we go. That is a good way to clear up inventory space if you uh, are starting to run out, which I was. So I just gave a whole bunch of items to people that I'm not using, and they can carry them. Let me go down here, like Ennis carrying all the elixirs. Well, not all of them, but most of them. Always keep a few in case you need to pull it out during a mission because you can't. Uh, you can't grab them if they're on a character and the character's not in the mission. So keep a few in the supply. But uh, we have class changes we need to do. I believe everybody else is carrying their class change item. And you already class changed. Good! Alright! This is always fun if you watched Fire Emblem uh, 7. I uh, really enjoyed that LP. So if you haven't checked checked it out please do check it out uh, I worked really hard on that one I mean really hard on it because it was a special project to me I work hard on all my projects but I really really went all out on that one um with the uh, fire emblem class changing is one of my favorite things in well not only fire emblem games but games in general I just love when you when characters or units class change and they get more powerful and they look they look more just better they just look more they just look more powerful the stats go up it's one of the things I love in video games and we're gonna be doing it a lot here so I'll save Lara shell for last let's start with the easy one which is Ross use the ocean seal pirates have two choices they can either um, become a warrior, which they could do if they were a fighter anyway, but they could become a berserker, and we're definitely going to go berserker. The reason for that is we've already gone over just how powerful the berserker is. They can cross, we haven't gone over mountains, they can cross mountain, mountains as well, like a bandit, but uh, mountains... They can cross sea tiles like a pirate. They get that innate crit chance. They're just really, really great units. So we're definitely going to go Berserker. Berserker, you get a lot of HP. You get a uh, three con, which lets him almost use a steel axe with no uh, weight penalty. I say almost because the Steel Axe weighs 15, which is just ridiculous. Like I said, there, there's the innate crit because he doesn't have that much crit to begin with. Uh, I believe it's 15 just like the Swordmaster. Very scary. He got a lot of strength, kind of one to two and everything else as well. And his movement goes up to 6, and like I said, he got that 3 con. If we give him a body ring, he'll be able to use a steel axe with no speed penalty, which is uh, scary. So there we go. Next, let's do Amelia. She will use a knight crest. Knights have two choices. They can become great knights, like Dussel, and we've seen. They get the great shield, uh, not the great shield ability, sorry. That's the other one. They get uh, swords, lances, and axes. They get movement. They are good units. But um, I'm going to go with the general class. They get the great shield skill, which we've seen in action, where you just have that chance to take nothing. They can equip swords, lances, and axes. Just like a great knight. Which is really interesting, because that's typically not the case for a general. Uh, typically generals don't get swords. They typically get lances from their knight class and then they learn axes. But here they actually get swords as well. Which always just 
blew my mind because that's uh, typically not the case, and that may be a typo. <laughs> we'll find out, because I don't remember them having swords. Uh, typically, generals don't get swords. They typically get uh, lances and axes. But she is going to become a general. Which is the traditional level up of the knight as well. Knights uh, throughout the series typically go into general. General! She gets three defense and three res. She also gets one con. Yeah, she does. She, get, she can now use swords. That's awesome. I may do that because I didn't remember that. I may have her <laughs> wield some swords around. Generals, we know. Knights a great skill. They get swords, lances, axes, and they get that great shield skill, which can come in handy if it just so happens to go that way. She has a lot of defense. <laughs> Amelia ended up leveling up very well, all things considered. She is a super speedy knight, but she also has the defense now to back it up. The only thing she has low a low stat in really is res, but. Typically, they don't have a lot of resistance anyway. Nine's pretty good. She's not really supposed to be going up against magic users anyway. She now has a movement of five instead of four, but she's still slower than most units. Slower than promoted units. <laughs> promoted units typically have a movement of six, if not more. Generals have a speed of five, which is... Well, we're not speed, sorry. Move of five, which is better than their movement of four as a knight, but it's still a little slow. You can counteract this, however, if you really like the general class by giving them the swift souls and increasing their movement by two. This is really funny to do, because then you can have a general that's really fast. <laughs> and I might just do that. We'll have to see. Uh, you also saw the... Um, support conversations. Sorry, I just really blanked out there. The support conversations. So, there's that. Next, let's... Ewen can use his guiding ring. He maxed out Rez. He is just a... Mage killing machine. <laughs> 20 res. He also got 10 defense, which is pretty high for Ewan, honestly, because he doesn't have great defense growth. 16 magic, 16 skill, 18 speed. He did well. But that resistance is just. just. just great. <laughs> Alright. As a mage, he has two options. He can become a sage like his teacher, Soleil. We know how sages work. Anima magic, light magic, and staffs. Pretty dangerous. Or they could become mage lights like Lady Selena Florspar. They only use anima magic and staffs, you know, the where the sage gets light, but they get to be on horseback, which gives them more movement so they can move around. This is really useful when it comes to the staffs part. If you want them to kind of run around and heal. But he is going to become a sage like his teacher. Because I really, I really like that. Um, although I do think the Mage Knight class is really cool. I wish they got the use of swords as well. Instead of not getting anything at all. Just to be more of a knight. I think that would have just been so cool. Alas, that is not the case. Become a sage! Sage! Which again is kind of the traditional level up. They get one magic, they get a lot of defense and resistance. And they get one con. So now he has 23 resistance. He's almost maxed out his resistance. He's got 19 levels to go to do that. <laughs> Scary. Have fun hurting Ewan with magic. It's not happening with me. You're gonna, you're gonna do practically nothing. Movement of six, which is nice. 
And now seven con, they're not weighed down as much <laughs> by the L fire tone, but still weighed down. All in all, the Sage class is a good class. You can give them light magic just in case, and they can now use staffs. We've gone over all of this with uh, with Soleil, so I'm not gonna talk too much about it. Uh, Nami, you're up. Archers can become one of two classes. They can become snipers, which they get the sure strike ability, which isn't too useful. Uh, we went over this a little bit with well, no, because this is Ephraim's route. Basically, how Sure Strike works is they get a, I believe it's skill percent chance for it to activate. If it does, they uh, will not miss the shot. It, they could have a 25% chance to hit. If Sure Strike procs, it will hit. It's like they have a 100% chance to hit. Very cool. The thing is, why it's not that useful is... Archers typically have high skill anyway. So they don't miss a lot. <laughs> they have high hit percentages. So sure strike isn't that great, but uh, the snipers are really neat class regardless. It's the kind of traditional archer route. Archers become snipers. They can also become rangers, however. Fighters skilled in both sword and bow. We've seen rangers before. They'll get more movement, because they're on horseback. And they get the ability to use a sword alongside their bow. So they could go up in melee if they need to. It's a really cool class, but I'm going to go sniper. I've just always liked the sniper class. Sniper, a lot of strength, a little bit of con. You also get more con as a ranger as well. Um, this is a pretty weak version of the sniper class, I think. In other Fire Emblem games, it's better. Just because, I don't know, I think the ranger class is, is pretty cool, even though I typically don't use it that much. Uh, movement of six for the sniper. They do get that sure strike ability, just as kind of a... Uh, just in case measure. Nami's pretty good here. I wish she got just a little more defense. Just a little more. Not a lot. Just a little more. That 8 defense is a little worrisome because she can. She can't really take a hit. Not that she should be getting hit anyway as an archer, but just something I wanted to point out. She has says 9 resistance. Not the best against magic users, but she'll be able to fire back as long as they, you know, attack from a range of 2. There's that. Not too much more to talk about the sniper as well. We had one. It's, it's Ennis. It's exactly like his class. It is his class. What am I talking about? <laughs> Alright, let's get to Cormag. Who maxed out strength. Scary. Low resistance, but Warven Riders always have low resistance. So whatever. 13 defense. Could have been a little higher, but the rest of his stats are... Pretty darn good. He has two choices. He can become a Werven Lord or a Werven Knight. Now we know how the Werven Knight works because that's what Walter was. Who got beaten up by Seth. So they get the Pierce skill. You know how that works. It's super dangerous. Werven Lords get the ability to use swords and lances instead of just lances. To be honest, the Werven Knight class is probably a ton better. <laughs> just, It just is. The pure skill is super dangerous. But it's also super dangerous for your game because I went over the glitch, I believe, with the pure skill. So I'm going to go Werven Lord, which is what his brother was. And I'm going to... Just do that because he, he really, you know, looked up to his brother. And I think that's cool. Werven Lord. I just get more HP, some defense, a little bit of con, more strength, more skill. And can now use swords. He'll stick with lances, though, but he can use swords. And he does have the Feely or Delphi shield on. 
So, yeah, no longer super weak to bows. That's fun for me, not the enemies. <laughs> He's still super weak to magic. However, very low resistance. Be careful about that. Alright, that's pretty much everybody class changed with one very notable exception. Well, other than the Lords. Don't worry, their time is coming. There's a reason I wanted to grind and get people to 20. AKA, they class change at the end of chapter 60. <laughs> I think you get an item in this one, so you could technically wait, but why? You want to class change them as soon as possible. Um... And I decided, well, since they're going to class change at the end of Chapter 16, why not just class change everybody I'm going to use now? Including Larachelle, who I grinded to get her to level 20. And she ended up amazing. She maxed out speed. She maxed out resistance. She got 18 magic. She has low HP, but I can give her a... Uh, I can give her a... Seraph rope if I have to. She has a ton of luck. Low defense, but I expected that. But our Troubadour is now going to change into one of two classes. She can become a Valkyrie, which lets her stay on horseback and basically be like the Troubadour she is now, with the exception of being able to use light magic. Or she can become a Mage Knight herself, like Lady Floorspark and learn anima magic in staffs. Now, for those of you that really want to get into the minutia, there are some different stat um, maxes depending on the class. So if you really want to get into min maxing characters or you know anything like that, that's something else you have to look at. Me, I'm playing on normal, I'm just having a fun playthrough, so I'm not going to really get into all of that. But just know that there are different stat maximums between classes. And that can help, or that can change your decision one way or another as well. I am going to go Valkyrie, however, because I really like the Valkyrie class. It just sounds cool, it's Valkyrie. And they use light magic and staffs and I like them using light magic I think it fits not only the troubadour class more but it also fits Larishel <laughs> Valkyrie Get some defense, which is nice. One con. She has resistance for days as well. Have fun hurting her with magic. And guess what? Now she can fire magic back. <laughs> uh, take... Take that lightning dome. Archer doesn't need it. He's going to be using shine anyway. Take another shine dome. There we go. Uh, only a constitution of six. Archer has seven. Using heavier tomes will be a problem. But now she's not defenseless, which is the biggest upgrade. Also, this makes it easier to level her up. <laughs> this is what always happens with healing units. They're so tough to, to level up because they only get from healing other units, and it's a kind of a base, base EXP. I've gone over all this before. But, now, she can actually fight. Lightning Tome isn't that damaging. But, she does have 20 magic now, so... <laughs> she'll hurt! <laughs> 9 defense is a bad 23 resistance. She can go blast a magic user. She gets a movement of 7. And she's still on horseback, which is really cool. I also like the sprite of the Valkyrie. The white horse, and she's carrying the... Uh, the staff. It's just really cool looking to me. I really like it. There is all of that. Everybody's class change. Everybody looks awesome now. Super scary. And we are ready to start chapter 16. But we're going to have to do that next time because I figured this was going to take a lot of time and it did. <laughs> Between that and showing off all the levels. Hey, it's a white. Huh. Which is the upgraded bone 
guy, you could tell because of the shield. Next time, we will start Chapter 16 and go over that map and everything that's there there for that. Um, it's a pretty, pretty difficult chapter, so um, we'll have some some fun with that until the next episode and i'm sure i'll have marked this somewhere hey this is gonna be nothing but class changing and powering up but hey it'll be fun <laughs> i hope you enjoyed and had a lot of fun watching the classes change and look different and seeing them power up i know i always love that it's one of my favorite things about fire emblem until the next episode i'm cindra 9 remember to shoot for the stars and take care everyone